Well, hello internets. Here we are. We have ourselves a start to another vlogging day. Another day to uh, get going and rolling and get things done. Like I said, trying to catch up on things, get uh, uh, some things that have been neglected took care of. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, keeping with the uh, uh, spring breakaway, I have uh, really cut down on my internet usage. Um, I no longer spend hours in front of the computer, whether it's editing and uploading or watching or uh, watching PVR movies or whatever it is. Uh, all that has been cut back, so it's... Uh, you know, just an hour or so, and uh, that's it. Of course, it probably does really help uh, when my uh, Maxwell's world is at idle and I'm not editing up videos um, for uh, daily uploads, right? Well, the old May Long uh, road trip that I wanted to do didn't happen, and it's not gonna happen. Uh, realistically speaking, uh, I can't do it without sacrificing in other areas, and. Right now in my life, there is no um, means to be sacrificed. Everything I own is for sale, and uh, I still have no idea uh, what's going to happen and uh, how things are going to shake out. Well, I was doing some research on uh, southern Alberta towns and places to uh, visit. I had it in my head that I wanted to do a big, big road trip this summer, um, go sightseeing, spend two weeks uh, in the trailer, you know, me and the dog in the truck, and uh, staying here and there in Walmart parking lots or roadside turnouts or whatever, and uh, um, the more I think about it, the more realistically it's not going to happen, or I shouldn't do it without sacrificing other areas. Still dealing with my own personal health issues, own personal stuff, um, uh, phone calls and emails and appointments and everything that I'm trying to get squared away. Uh, sometimes I have no idea why I bother to keep going, you know, keep putting myself through all this, keep uh, sacrificing and giving up everything to uh, stay alive and stay afloat when there are uh, other uh, individuals that you know, seem to get everything they ever could want and more um, just because of who they are and uh, where they come from, right? If that rubs some people the wrong way when they hear that, well then <laughs> um, maybe they need to take a better look at uh, the country they live in. At least um, my country of Canada, it seems to be that way, especially lately. Well, uh, for the first time in years, I drove a brand new vehicle essentially um, on a gravel road. My 2009 Canyon, uh, in the whole six years I had it, probably only seen about a mile of a light gravel road at really, really low speed. The 2015 Canyon never seen gravel road and neither did the 2016. However, I drove my uh, Sierra here on uh, on a gravel road of course at slower speeds and you know all that good stuff so it didn't really spray rocks up but it was kind of weird you know a weird feeling knowing that you could be chipping your paint or you could be uh you know whatever you want to do but at the same time um hey you got the truck you might as well enjoy it if you don't enjoy it then uh um why bother having it right you know i did that with the 2009 i babied it and uh only had 60,000 k on it in the six years i owned it and it didn't make a truck worth any more really essentially than the truck that had 160,000 k on it um when it came time to to sell it right so enjoy it and uh use it because well, in another few months, you never know, it may not be here either. 
Well, after two years of uh, kind of being down and out, I started walking in the park again. For those that have been watching my vlogs, you will know two years ago I was when I had the Silver uh, 15 Canyon. I used to go for walks in the park and I was doing that every day and I was walking pretty good. Pretty good distances, pretty good steps, pretty good pace and when I sold that truck it was kind of the beginning of uh, a lot of change. You know, my health started to change more than than it already had. You know, I lost my dad a few months later. Kind of fell into, I will use the word depression because, well, you can't really deny it. It is what it was, or is. And I spent two years pretty much, um, you know, trying to... <laughs> trying to uh, prolong the, the uh, inevitable, right? You come to the realization that, uh, well, it is what it is. Get busy living or get busy dying. Realistically, for my own mental well-being, yes, I should probably um, go get money somewhere out of one of my mortgage or off of my line of credit because, and then go for a road trip because really in a few months it's not going to matter if things keep going the way they're going whether my line of credit is maxed out or my line of credit is not because when push comes to shove um, you know that total doesn't really matter to them because all they see is your assets they can seize and in the meantime at least you had had some living right but pretty much guys um, Cut way back down on the coffee I was drinking, the caffeine I've been intaking. Cut way back on my internet usage, trying to take care of things that are take, uh, needing to be took care of. I've got classified ads listed. Um, everything is for sale. I'll, I'll even, you know, if it's uh, got an interested party in it and they're willing to pay a price, uh, everything is for sale. I will sell it all. And uh, you never know what's going to happen, where things are going to go, where I'll be. But uh, when I land, it'll most definitely be a new adventure, a new start, and uh, hopefully uh, a new way to live out my final years uh, without um, being in the direction that I'm going. So I'm going to go back in, see how the day rolls, try to uh, make something of it. And around we go. Well, hello internets. Here we are with a little bit of a, well, closing update. I know it's been all day, but, well, that's kind of the way she is. The day for me was a busy day. It was a good day. Um, tried to do one thing, try to make a little bit of progress with uh, everything that's going on. Trying to um, well, deal with what's been going on without uh, completely losing my grip. You have to love how dependent our world is. You know, we depend on our utilities for everything. Without uh, power, there's nothing to run our hot water heaters. Because um, some of us have uh, change to the tankless hot water heater that requires electricity to uh, make it run and even if you don't have a tankless unit some hot water heaters that are natural gas only have a electric uh, sensor in them that senses uh, when the you know uh, gas turns on and off kind of a thing so that is dependent as well and uh, don't forget of course the natural gas themselves because Without natural gas, you can't heat the house or heat your hot water or even uh, turn the stove on because some people still have natural gas appliances, you know, like stoves and dryers and uh, all that stuff as well. Uh, as for me, my dryer is electric. However, you know, that does work against you. And don't forget about the uh, water. Um, without water, your fancy hot water heater is no good, right? You can't shower, you can't uh, bathe, you can't do laundry. You're bringing your water in by pails and uh, paying uh, $3 for a five gallons of water kind of a thing. 
uh, really adds up. Our uh, big greedy um, utilities companies tends to charge whatever they want. Uh, you can have a hundred and sixty dollar a month uh, power bill and you look at your bill and sixty of it is actually power. The rest is what they call distribution fees, you know, that little line that runs from the post to your house. You know, that's what, like ten bucks a foot or twenty bucks a foot kind of a thing. All depends on how long that line is, right? And same with the gas, you know, it's a distribution fees on that. And I was looking at my water bill and my water usage was actually twenty dollars. Well then I got thinking, well why is my bill a hundred and 60 bucks well they charge me 40 bucks just for the privilege every month of using the landfill well i don't do dump runs every month so what's the point in that they charge me 30 bucks a month i think it is to come and empty the garbage bins well my recycle bin very seldom ever gets anything in it it takes forever to fill up and my garbage bin is very seldom ever full but yet they charge you whether they dump it or not. And uh, then there was a stormwater uh, runoff fee. Uh, they in implemented that a few years ago when we had that heavy rain and everybody made insurance claims against the city for not doing their job properly and maintaining the storm drains. Well, why should I have to pay? I never made a claim. My basement had water in it. I dealt with it like any other homeowner should. <clears throat> I uh, I find that frustrating. You got twenty dollars in actual usage, and the rest um, I forget the ex said the exact numbers, but the rest is all um, uh, free money, cream, if you want to say for their bonuses. It's uh, it's the way it is, right? And utilities keep going up and up. The bills keep going more and more, and no matter what you do. They never seem to go down. You know, I installed the tankless hot water heaters thinking the bills would change and they really didn't. Um, the furnace did change the gas bill a little bit from what it was last winter. But at the same time, I did keep it colder uh, this winter in the house too than what I did last winter as well because I knew I couldn't pay the bill to begin with. It's, uh, it's the way our world is, right? Dependence and uh, uh, roped into conforming to the way uh, they want you to conform because they know they got you hooked. I am trying to remain positive. I'm trying to uh, not focus on certain things and focus on the task at hand and getting things prepared um, for the future, getting things prepared for uh, what's about to happen and uh, this is why I'm not vlogging every day because I tend to uh, overthink things and end up repeating myself or uh, doing things that I probably shouldn't be doing and I tend to take a break and everything seems to work itself out kind of like they have been doing. Uh, this here vlog goes up of course after May long probably more closer toward the end of May maybe beginning of June. I might put it up earlier. All depends, you know, I've got a lot of stuff going on in my head and I'm trying to uh, suppress it, but at the same time I need to let it out and a vlogging is a way for me to let out, um, filtered of course, what is really truly in my head. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. But pretty much guys, of course, gonna end it all here. I got this here vlog to edit up in the next uh, few few days and such. The long weekend is just a few days away. Probably just gonna stay close to home because can't uh, afford the expenditure to uh, pull the trailer and uh, you know anywhere so it is what it is. I've got the trailer listed for sale but of course nobody's biting. Nobody wants a cargo trailer with windows in it and uh, that was a bad move especially if I had planned to sell it again. However, I didn't plan to sell it. I planned to uh, keep it for, well, quite a few years, but my life is changing and it is what it is. 
Remember, we do have the social media pages. The links are down below, as well as the fan mail box. Um, the address is down below. Drop me a letter. Uh, let me know people are still alive, that I'm not completely alone. And uh, if you send me a decal, I will mail one out um, back to you as well. If you do, please include a legible address and uh, postal and zip code as well. But thanks for watching Maxwell's vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.